Okay, so I'm on this stretch coming from Farmington to I'm trying to make it to uh, Bluff in Utah. I come on this long desolate stretch here. It's very desert like. Um, I'm in the Navajo territory, Navajo preservation region. And uh, I just got caught out after the coming out of Shiprock. Uh, I think I must say the wrong kind of foods and it slowed me down and I couldn't, I couldn't shake the lactic out of my legs. And, uh, and I had to, I stopped by this little settlement here and I took like a little pound up, just laid down here, right over here, just took a little pound up there and kind of restored a bit and a gentleman who was it's Navajo from there, I don't know if you can see him, he, uh, he, I, I was out, you know, I was out of a, I top off my water bottles up here because this is a long stretch, I don't know where I'll get water next. But uh, I just wanted—I just wanted the heat to go down because it got to 44 degrees, and I couldn't get it. Like I said, I couldn't get the lactic out of my legs, and I found it hard to spin the pedals, and I was kind of getting roasted in the heat there. And then I found a settlement, and I just had to take cover in the shelter for for uh, for a few uh, minutes. And um, I got a top of some water now. I'm slightly revived from that. I just hope I can shake the lactic out of my legs. Must be from yesterday. Cycle, I'm not sure. Maybe 25 days. But this is like I say, you can see how desolate and barren it is out here. And that's the road I've come from there. That's the way I'm going right there. That's the direction. And Arizona is about uh, 15 miles from here, and then, uh, and then Utah is, uh, or should I say, Bluff in Utah is about another, I don't know, about uh, 50 miles from there. So if I can get to Bluff, then I would have crossed. Then, then I would have been in three states in a single day. But there is the Four Corners, uh, Four Corners uh, monument. Mm. Uh, I think it's somewhere near Farmington where, where you know, four states meet on a on, in one point. So, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna try and get on. I'm gonna try and get on the, the road, and uh, you know, the heat's gone down a little now, so it looks more bearable. I've got, got fresh water again. I'm a bit revived after powering up. And up, see that peak there, still in the corner. It's beautiful out here. Really desolate. My goodness, it's so desolate. And these are the kind of stretches I've been looking forward to, where there's long roads and nothing for miles and miles, just nothing but open, just the open land. And it's desert-like, and you can see the mountains in the background. It's just so scenic. Really good to be in this part of the world, although it can be challenging if you're not worried. So uh, we'll get back on the bike, and uh, we'll uh, try and get to build for today. And, and uh, these headwinds keep persisting. There from the start, really expecting this. But uh, let's, try get, let's try and get some miles down. I mean, I'm on about mile 45 now, so I want to try and get to 100 again today. I don't know if that's realistic, but we'll see how far I get. And that's that peak again. Okay.